history has been made. For the first time ever, Mexico makes it out of the open bracket and into pool play. Will Lightning strike twice, though, as we see SWAT Alpha up against Darkest Hour in another qualification match. Mikowski joined alongside for Zilla. And man, wouldn't this be fitting? The first time casting on land for Mexico's very own. And we've already seen history once. Are we about to see it twice? Like you said, history has been made. made but can we get the two pit right in the same mayor? The mayor that has had the most Mexican representation up to date. We were talking about the SWAT Alpha roster. The... Lore roster, the Cinta Negra MX roster, Magico is on the SWAT Latam roster, and Blood Reina is on the Woman of Halo Cold Ones roster. So that's a lot of representation. Oh, and myself included here on the casting couch. But huh. I mean, that's uh, I couldn't have asked for a better major to be in. Like, we're just making history over and over again. We did it at Wards, we're doing it here. And it's just Friday. The party's just getting started. And my goodness, what a incredible moment this would be. And how fitting it is for the MX region. In the offseason, we had a little bit of a format change where Mexico and Australia were no longer guaranteed spots in pool play. And for now, Lore get it back in blood, earning their way two pools from the open bracket passion pit. And now SWAT X Alpha have a chance to double dip. A little too much dip on that chip as they take on a difficult, difficult squad here. This is not gonna be easy for Mexico to make history twice, like lightning striking twice. We ask the question, will it happen? They're going up against a Darkest Hour roster that is deep. You've got Envor, you've got Common, you've got Haynes, and you've got, in my eyes, Frazilla, one of the best up-and-coming players in the scene, routinely popping off in the top 10 kill-death categories, and that's Yaxin, gonna be standing in the way of SWAT X Alpha. On the other side, though, of SWAT X Alpha, who should we be watching out for as a potential shutdown playmaker on their side? Honestly, the whole team is a whole menace. Let them play in their best moment. They are able to even take down Mexico's finest. So if you give them an opening, Lewar, Strikey, and Sepsters are the ones to be just on the lookout for. Gorilloco is still really strong, but just the new introduction to the roster coming in instead of Roche. Roche actually got his visa denied. So they aren't fully 100% as a team, but still making sure every single result counts. And right now we're going to be dropping strongholds on Solitude. All right, here we go. Your lower round qualification match between Darkest Tower and SWAT X Alpha is live on board with Yaxon. Got the shock rifle in his hand. Down in the bottom mid location. Goes down to low shields. Gets taken down shortly after as Darkest Hours loses numbers advantage off the start. And SWAT X Alpha do a great job to get a good start as they continue and start the scoring 20 and rolling. Empezando con el pie derecho de la escuadra mexicana. Consiguiendo... Pues básicamente que se consiga algo, de un, poco, un poquito de jugo. Y nos está informando producción que en este mismo instante nos está dando raid el canal oficial de Halo. Todos los ojos están en México contra Estados Unidos. Welcome, welcome to everybody coming over from the Halo stream. We are witnessing history live as Mexico for the first time makes it out of the open bracket. We've also got a little bit of history on the casting side, a dual language broadcast on the English and Spanish side, representing the entire global Halo community here, as we appreciate that raid from the Halo team. 44 to nine now, as Darkest Hour has gotten their front foot off the board and back on the scoring. BC in their favor, and if they control A, they're looking at a strong trip cap. Amenazado con un triple cap, y efectivamente, ahora el triple cap le pertenece a la escuadra de Darkest Hour. Pero rápidamente la van a empezar a negar la escuadra de SWAT Alpha. Se van a llevar C, y en cualquier momento pueden o tomar A o tomar B. Por la posición, irían más por A, pero primero tienen que defender C, que está ahorita sobre muchísimo fuego de la escuadra americana. Una más la dos, no la consigue, me dejó con las ganas. SWAT Alpha are able to flip C. That keeps the scoring, though, continuing for Darkest Hour. But not before B gets reset. Nice work here from Stars and crew. It's Stepstars in a 1v1 there, but goes down. 
Darkest Hour with all four up. They're looking for another potential trip cap, but SWAT X Alpha are going to be able to secure A. But for now, it looks like Darkest Hour are primed to regain the lead. Mira nada más, qué bonito. Me hicieron bailar ahí a los chicos de SWAT X Alpha. Intentando conseguir la kill, no la consigue. Y es en estos momentos donde se pueden empezar a llegar a desesperar estos chicos. Tienen que tener cuidado. Ya sabemos cómo funcionan, sobre todo bajo presión. Y a veces la presión es mucha que colapsan. Tienen que relajarse, tienen que tener toda la paciencia del mundo. Si no lo consiguen, esto puede ser para Darkest Hour. 75 rolling to 50 now as Darkest Hour have put together a good stretch of about a minute plus here as they've gotten back on the board up by 30 seconds now as Sepstars look to push off the back foot. This is going to be a key here for SWAT Alpha. Can they regain map control off of this disadvantageous back wall of A as the score continues to tick away for Darkest Hour? This is impressive for them, especially because they lost numbers in this sequence. But for Zilla, this just goes to show how difficult it is to push off that back wall advantage. You can see here a flank coming through. Darkest Hour still looking for the trip cap. I love the aggression. Uy, qué buena, excelente el trabajo de equipo de parte de la escuadra mexicana. Ahora tienen que capturar o B o C. Se están metiendo en B. Tienen que tener mucho cuidado. Si no, si les dan de la apertura, es posible que veamos otra kill. Uy, cuidado, se le escapó, se le peló Heinz. No consigue la kill. Al contrario, es él el que cae. Y ahora es Seth Jackson el que consigue unas kills. Intenta conseguirlo. Qué buen tiro. Consigue el tiro con el shock rifle. Y luego saca la bandit para terminar la chamba, para terminar el trabajo. Abajo. Aún así, logra meterse muy bien a la zona. Me lo van a llevar directito a ver los 10 segundos de eh, respawn. Y hasta el momento, triple cap para SWAT X Alpha. Darkest Hour double up on the lead, but not before a trip cap from SWAT Alpha, as they seem to have the firmest control of that trip cap. Previously, we saw Darkest Hour with it, but just for a couple seconds. So this is looking like SWAT Alpha's best moment of the match so far. And it looks like they're going to ride this trip cap to a lead, as they do, in fact, regain the lead. 116 and rolling. To 114. Sepstars agarrando el camuflaje activo. Esta puede ser clave para poder seguir teniendo ese liderato. Perdieron A, pero aún así es Sepstars el que tiene el control del camuflaje activo. Mira nada más, vamos a relajarnos. Está agarrando a alguien desprevenido. Qué excelente disciplina el gatillo tiene este muchacho. Está dando información, importantísimo. Primero información, luego armas, lo que quieras. Excelente, Pax Mac de parte de Sepstars. La información sigue saliendo. Van a evitarlo. Dos caídos para cada equipo, pero SWAT X Alpha sigue anotando. And now it's Darkest Hour with their back against the wall and those back A spawns. They are able to flip the map and take C. Most importantly, they take down the camo as well. Neutralizing that is going to open up the mid map, give them B as well as Darkest Hour will flip the map, flip the scoring as well, but not before SWAT Alpha get out to a 148 to 121 lead. Cuidadito que esto puede ser peligroso. Darkest Hour está empezando a subir en el score. Está empezando a subir lo que puede ser malas noticias para la escuadra mexicana. SWAT Alpha. Un dato... Uh, well, <laughs> an extra uh, tip right there. SWAT X Alpha is both a Colombian and Mexican try to get more players out in the US to play. So technically, it could be a Colombian and Mexican team making it to pool play. And so does the Mexican team Lord that just did. Global competition has never been more stiff and competitive as we see Mexico already earning one spot in pool play from the open bracket. Will they strike twice, make history twice? SWAT Alpha looking pretty good here so far as they carry a 173 to 135 lead. But for now, B and C are trickling back into the favor of Darkest Hour. Common with another camo as well, and this puts Darkest Hour right back in it. Cuidado que puede agarrar el shock rifle en cualquier momento, y así es, y así será. Tiene el combo que puede derretir a cualquiera que se le ponga enfrente. Tenemos a tres caídos para SWAT Alpha y acaba de reaparecer uno. La paciencia de estos muchachos se está dejando empezar a ver. 155 a 173, se están empezando a perder a... Tienen que relajarse, tienen que bajar la marcha. Y mira nada más, tres caídos para Darkest Tower. SWAT Alpha puede atacar y puede capitalizar. Oh, that was huge there, I believe, from Strikey as he stops what looked like an answer back triple cap for Darkest Hour. Instead, it looks like off of that slay on A at the 99 percentile, no less. Another double kill for Gor uh, Gori Loco. And it looks like, yes, in fact, SWAT Alpha will continue on with the lead into the 200s. Three go down for Darkest Hour. They're going to be collectively spawning on the cafe side. And if SWAT Alpha can hold here, they can hold a good lead 
en el día game han tenido muy buena participación y conseguido triple caps muy contundentes darkest tower ha tenido muchísimas muchísimas dificultades para incluso romper el cero están intentando tomar a excelente la defensa de the war no los van a permitir moverse ni siquiera hacer el mínimo para que les rompan el cero ves está empezando a tornar carmesí pero logran frenarlo y básicamente siguen puntuando están a 40 segundos de llevarse este primer juego una ventaja que marcaría Básicamente la partida entera. 168 to 212. Darkest Hour have one or two last breaths before SWAT Alpha take game one. But just as I say that, they're able to re-secure A. They also have C, so they've split the map. SWAT Alpha with the positioning and location bottom mid. But for now, it looks like their call is to take A as they make their push. Gory Loco pushes through, but he goes down eventually to a double kill from Darkest Hour, protecting A and protecting the lead that they have on these two hills, A and C, but if SWAT Alpha can take C, yes they do. They're in the driver's seat to the finish, 187 to a rolling 215. Siguen sumando, siguen haciendo de las suyas estos chicos de SWAT Alpha demostrando que sí pueden llegar a pool play. Esta no sería la primera vez que vemos a Zep Stars, el World Strikey en pool play. Ya los hemos visto. Formerly Six Karma, three of these teammates, Zep Stars, the World Strikey. It won't be the first time being in that pool play seat, but it will be the first time earning it. And SWAT Alpha are earning it for Zilla with teamwork. Nobody's standing out necessarily in the stat sheet. The most positive anybody is on SWAT Alpha is a modest plus three. They're doing it with the tried and true teamwork, and they're doing it by securing A, that back foot location. They're look, you're, they're using it like it's the front foot. 195 to 220 now as stickies go out. No damage goes down. Darkest Hour with all four members alive. Make their push into the back A, but Common goes down. The cleanup goes through, bait and switch. Double kill win for Envor. What a huge play for him as he brings Darkest Hour right back in it. They have life at the very end. Es lo que necesitaban para poder intentar dar la vuelta a la tortilla en este momento. Cuidado que empiezan los tiros. Está sin escudos. Logra quitar muy bien al que estaba de Darkest Tower amenazando en la zona de C. El 1v1, claro que sí se lo va a llevar. Va a caer otro muchacho de SWAT Alpha. Esto se está emparejando. La, la delantera, ahora la Toma la escuadra de Darkest Tower y esto se complica mucho. La escuadra mexicana, SWAT X Alpha, tiene que empezar a capturar, tiene que empezar a moverse y lo están haciendo. B se está tornando color cielo azul. Three go down for SWAT Alpha, but they regain with a capture on B. Oh, he goes down right after, but it looks like Darkest Tower are going to be able to flip that. It's Haynes in a 1v1 for his life, for the game potentially, but he goes down. The trade should secure, but no, with the use of the repulsor, that player is able to get back to A. Bait and switch, long range from the driveway. As Darkest Hour loses life advantage, it now lies in the hands of SWAT Alpha. They get another big win. On board, common go down. 227, 240. SWAT Alpha in the sprint finish could just win it. Triple Cap que se está desvaneciendo ante sus propios ojos. Darkest Hour quiere evitar que la escuadra mexicana tome la ventaja en el primer juego. Double Cap de parte de Darkest Hour. Simplemente esto nos está llevando hasta lo último, hasta las últimas instancias. Nice está moviendo la paciencia. Están empezando a entrar a ver los chicos de SWAT Alpha. Cuidado que está Jackson haciendo de las suyas. Está evitando dos caídos para la escuadra de SWAT Alpha. Van a tirar los tres caídos ahora. Se está complicando mucho la situación. Tienen que entrar 233 a 244. Ah, le pertenece a SWAT Alpha. Pero aún así, Base siguen siendo de Darkest Tower siguen puntuando la ventaja de México se está desapareciendo poco a poco. Virtually tied in the 240s. Darkest Towers are trying to come back, but SWAT Alpha have control of the C Hill and potentially this no match. Mommies. But after going down, no, that's going to give them a chance, Darkest Hour a chance to regain C on the flip side. They're looking to milk A as well Ay. as Ay. Loco finds the kill and potentially the win, but Darkest Tower still have map control. Three control of B and C. They've got to drop in it. They do as Gory Loco looks to keep SWAT X Alpha's life alive here in game one. 245. Oh what, what we just saw. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what an incredible match. If your heart isn't thumping out of your chest, then you simply were not watching that last match. 250 to 247. You couldn't ask for a better opening match to what feels like a series that could very well go the distance. A qualification series where the winner of this match goes on to pool play. The loser packs their bags and goes home. I mean, we, we really are just seeing 
truly that they are fighting for something this time. That pool play qualification, but it's just the amount of aggression, just complete violence that is going on here. Trying to go for the ninja will get stopped dead in strikes, but wow, I mean, that was a really close game. Swadex Alpha really had it at the moment. But just Darkest Hour came back at the last possible moment. Gotti Loco, mis respetos, wey. He was holding on to dear life. He was making sure every single moment inside the hill, contesting, <laughs> not getting, contesting the hill, counted. But unfortunately, it was only a three second difference. Whew. Well, the moment of the match had to be for me when Envor secured the double kill and the control of A at the back of the map. Uh, oddly enough, the weaker of the three hills, I would argue, between C, B, and A. It was A that was vying for uh, control. It was both squads. They seemed to really highlight that as a point of emphasis. Envor got the double. Envor got the win. He actually continued on through the cafe, cafe into hotel as we continue on in this incredible series, kicking things right back off. Streets TS. We hop on board here with Step Stars. He's got the Stalker Rifle doing a little bit of damage, earning an assist as Darkest Hour get out to an early lead, 2-1. to one. Veamos si puede conseguir regresar a la vida la escuadra mexicana de SWAT X Alpha después de un increíble juego número uno. Como bien decía Makowski, empezamos fuertes. Qué manera de empezar la serie. Y espero que este segundo juego sea básicamente lo mismo. Simplemente ha sido impresionante cómo están jugando estos equipos. Zepstar is maintaining his life and control of that Stalker Rifle. Just kidding, Caster Curse. He goes down as SWAT Alpha. Need to regroup and regain. That's an emotional loss to take in game one for Zilla. That's, that's one that you, you hate to see if you're an MX region fan is they need to pull themselves back up. They need to pull themselves up off the mat. That's an emotional loss to take in game one. How will they respond? We're getting a glimpse of that here as they're down, but not by a considerable amount. They're keeping it close, 10 to 8. Aún así se mantienen muy bien adelante los chicos de SWAT Alpha. Con ese déficit incluso podría ser que emparejen las cosas fácil rápidamente el War consiguiendo un buen trade. Y evitar a toda costa que empareje, básicamente que intenten obtener dobles muertes, muertes múltiples. Es lo que está haciendo en estos momentos SWAT Alpha. Si pueden hacer trades, mucho, mucho mejor. Pero hasta el momento la ventaja ligera es para la escuadra de Darkest Hour que en este momento está a punto de perder un integrante. Como de que no, excelente tiro. Zepstar, velos a buscar... Velos a dar directito en la chompera con esa eh, bandit que tanto nos gusta. 8 minutos, 8 segundos más bien para el active camo. Sepstar setting up about 20 seconds early for that camo, working his way from the tires, wrapping around all the way to the benches. And he's doing work. Eventually goes down later. Camo does not get burned, earns to assist. Does Sepstar's before going down, and it looks like that's going to help earn the camo for SWAT. No, it does not get burned. That's not the player that I thought got the camo. It's Lure instead, and he's got a full camo to work with. The War ahora con el camuflaje activo, la escopeta, la tartamuda, mis estimados. Esto se puede complicar muchísimo. Cuidado, que ya sabemos todo el daño que puede llegar a crear. Tiene ahí la Bulldog en mano. Cuidado, se está acercando. Double tap, get, get him done, get him dead. Now, switching over to another player from Darkest Tower, pero no va a ser suficiente. No llega ni la asistencia. Es más, su compañero de equipo es el que recibe todo el daño. Dos caídos para la escuadra mexicana en estos momentos. Si intentan buscar, va a ser tres ahora. Swat Alpha en problemas, 21 a 17. La ventaja se está extendiendo para Darkest Tower, que en este momento está teniendo un muy buen liderato en este Slayer. 21-17. Darkest Tower have maintained that team wipe leader so that they've had since the start. 22 to 19 now as we hop on board with Gory Loco. Looking to push in with that shotgun. Looking to engage in some close range fights, I think. Spots that player in the red room, he does. He's gonna get the melee in to earn the slay, but drops the shotgun shortly after, and that's gonna be an important pickup. It looks like for Darkest Hour, they're, to, they're there to pick up the remains of those resources over on the B stairs. La paciencia que ahora estamos teniendo. Estamos básicamente teniendo un juego ya muy detenido. La paciencia se está empezando a notar y Darkest Towers puede empezar con el colapso de la defensa mexicana. Tres caídos para la escuadra ahora mexicana y complica mucho la existencia. Mira nada más, excelente los tiros rápidos y efectivos de parte de The War. Él sabía que malas cosas vendrían y por eso nos unió a ese push. Ahora con su, con su bandit básicamente y su rifle de asalto, tiene que tener la expectativa de que tienen que tomar nuevamente la confianza de retomar este juego, Active Camel coming up. 
SWAT Alpha utilizing the uh, the element of surprise to earn a couple slays here. There's been a couple moments in this match where you think to yourself, Darkest Door, gotta check your corners, but they don't. And SWAT Alpha take advantage of it. But it looks like Darkest Dower gonna take advantage of that camo, quite literally sneaking away with it and running away with this lead. 32 to 25 now, as common. Looks to push up through the B side. He has a potential to bait and switch with his uh, teammate there on the arcade. Is Yaxin now, the young gun, one of the up and coming potential rookie of the years in my eyes, pushes through, but he goes down. Stalker in the hands of Haynes. He's doing a lot of damage, gonna earn an assist because of it. Has a one on one in the back of PD. Does a great job to get the three shots in in the melee. Pugilistic at that. As Darkest Dower, right? A big lead now, up eight. El equipo mexicano ahora en problemas. Strikey separándose mucho del equipo, no sé si sea la jugada correcta, le van a llegar de dos, esto se complica mucho, va a caer, lamentablemente no es algo que el equipo mexicano pueda darse el lujo de tener y es esa separación, se juntan ahora en esa parte de Red Room, cuidado esas granadas, esta partida es para Darkest Hour que se está posicionando muy por encima de SWAT Alpha, un momentum distinto al que teníamos en ese primer juego, el siguiente clave para la escuadra mexicana, tiene que seguir a flote, tiene que buscar esa calificación a Pupo. Seeing a little bit of a hangover from that emotional game one loss where SWAT X Alpha all but had it secured before a last ditch miraculous effort from Darkest Hour to take that one by three. This one is not as close here as Darkest Hour have a multi-possession lead up by a couple team wipes in the driver's seat and feeling comfortable here up 10. Into the mid 40s. Double assistance that we can see from the Darkest Tower. This is ending at any moment. 44 to 33. They are making possible the last push. They take a kill, they take a trade. They are looking to conquer and finish this second game. They are taking it between the legs of the squad. It will not be enough. 46 to 34. My esteemed friend Makowski, it seems that this is written. This has written Darkest Tower all over. And we complimented SWAT Alpha for their teamwork in that previous game one, but it's now Darkest Hour playing their 25% each within two slays of each other. You talk about divvying up the, the work here in a TS and making it an even run throughout the board. Everybody playing their part here in a game two victory as Darkest Hour take game two. And just like that for Zilla, Mexico with their back against the wall, needing a reverse sweep to stay alive in this tournament. Back again with the, re oh, well, not reverse sweep, but rather with the back against the wall. It is going to be a really difficult uh, game. Recharge oddball. Yeah, it's uh, really difficult, really difficult. I, I still have my hopes up. Uh, I really hope uh, it, this is uh, this second game was and is a wake up call for Mexico. Well, for Mexico team, they really need to just fix those mistakes like ASAP. There's no more room for error, honestly. They have this last chance. They, well, they have a, like a little cushion called Oddball has three rounds max. So if they're able to get at least a round, I think we might be able to push through for, for that fourth game. That's really, really necessary. Now, yeah, well, going into game three, you have what I like to call the reverse sweep trampoline. That's an oddball matchup. Regardless, doesn't matter what map it's on. It's going to be on recharge here in this particular instance. But for SWAT Alpha, we've seen glimpses. We've seen moments where they look like they have a chance. They've given Darkest Hour their best fight, but they haven't quite figured out how to do so consistently. Now is your chance. Do or die. Back against the wall. But because of it being oddball, once again, you've got time. You've got at least 15 minutes, we're going to guess, to figure it out, to get on the right page. Can Mexico make history twice? And my goodness, what a way it would be to do it with the reverse sweep over Darkest Hour. It is going to be a two-pit for sure. I mean, we already made history once today on Friday. We're just waiting to see if SWAT X Alpha is able to pull off this new, uh, well, the wish that we all want, that is to having double representation for Latin America in this open bracket. Woo! And starting with strong with that stick, Common in flow state early as he earns the double kill, goes down shortly after, but so too does everybody else in the lobby. Envor and I believe Sepstar is the only ones up on the map as everybody will head back to the respawn screen and go again. Nadie va a estar agarrando la pelota. Parece ser que esto es más para saber qué tipo de estrategia es la que van a estar utilizando ambos equipos. Porque nadie ha intentado acercarse por la pelota. Ya tenemos al equipo de Darkest Hour agarrándola, pero aún así tienen que jugar muy crítico, muy pensativo ambas escuadras. Darkest Hour para ya calificar básicamente a Pool Play, SWAT X Alpha. 
para seguir con vida en este lower bracket qualifier para pool play. Strikey having a great start, sitting at 3 and 0, but it's Darkest Hour instead with the first 10 seconds of milk here as they look to retain control Ooh. of the oddball at the back of blue. Nice use of the shock rifle from Strikey. Still hasn't died just yet. Will he earn the killing spree? No, he goes down and shock goes back into the hands of Darkest Hour. All the while, Frazilla, that match taken on, or that battle going down on the long haul side of the map. A little bit of distraction and bait. All the while, Darkest Hour continue to secure time. And it's not before they reach the 25 second mark that they have the next battle to fight. And they win that. Darkest Hour are going to reach the first 30 second checkpoint. Is there in the driver's seat? Eso se está poniendo muy complicado para la escuadra mexicana. Estas dos derrotas les está pesando muchísimo en el mental y no se han podido recuperar. Y este es el problema que han estado tratando de lidiar estos chicos de SWATX Alpha. Simplemente en el instante en el que empiezan muy bien, pero una vez llegando a la mitad, llegando a ese eh, básico en punto de quiebre, es donde se nos empiezan a caer. Hay que trabajar en eso. Y por ahora estamos viendo lo que puede ser el principio del fin. Darkest Hour, Overslay in SWAT Alpha. Darkest Hour with the Slay advantage, and they've reflected that in the scoreboard, now reaching 50% halfway to a round one victory. And uh, Frazilla, we talked about this one going 15 minutes at this pace of play. Darkest Hour aren't going to allow it to reach even double digits. This is looking like an eight minute match at this rate. But if SWAT Alpha can just simply break through, get that oddball reset, they do just that. If they can now maintain numbers advantage, win that oddball off the reset, they're right back in it. But Darkest Hour have now afforded themselves the opportunity to bait the oddball, to make SWAT X Alpha chase. That's what you earn when you earn a 50 second lead off the rip. Se viene jugadota de parte de Strike y tiene el camo y aún así puede sorprenderlo. Se le va a acabar, pero aún así logra sorprender al muchacho de la escuadra de Darkest Tower. No va a ser suficiente. No logra concretar esa kill. Lo busca, pero se le fue. Qué tirote nos está dando Common con ese shock rifle y va a buscar a su siguiente víctima. Hop on board here with Common, a veteran in the scene. You might not think of him in the in the likes of an APG or some of the other guys like Ryan Noob that have been competing for 10 plus years, but Common is one of them. Sitting here at 7, 4, and 2, doing a lot to help this Darkest Hour roster secure their spot in pools. Now, though, with three going down, Common has a smart heads-up play to make. If he can rotate it, he gets it through to the bridge and resets the oddball. No, it gets fumble intercepted. Like a, like a sack at the line of scrimmage. And instead, SWAT Alpha, instead of vying for a potential reset, you need map control, you need the slays. Because of that interception, they have oddball control at a good spot. Back A. Pueden sacar muchísimo, muchísimo de esto. Tienen que sacarle y aprovechar todo el jugo posible. Si logran mantener el control de la pelota justo donde están, que es en el zona de elevadores, puede ser posible que puedan igualar a la escuadra de Darkest Hour. Esto se complica. Esto es... Ligeramente complicado, no me atrevería yo a decir imposible, porque la escuadra mexicana siempre sale adelante y cuando menos parece, siempre, siempre van a sacar la forma de sacar la chamba. Lore, with the forced fumble, heads up, forced fumble at that, has SWAT Alpha right back in it. They cut that lead in half thanks to the heads up play from Lore. As he continues on with ball time and the likes of Sep Stars continue out towards the tower. Little mini rotation, it looks like, as SWAT looks to. Bring that from the top of A into C. This is a common hold that we see across the regions. As it looks like they might just have it, but with the pressure coming through from Darkest Tower, they're gonna have to fight for a couple more slays. As that oddball sits precariously at the fulcrum between A and C, and it looks like SWAT are gonna take the oddball back to A. 32 to 64. It seems that we might not be having an only eight minute match. It is going to be the full 15 minutes if this keeps up at its current pace. Así que SWAT Alpha todavía tiene la oportunidad. Cuidado que Darkest Hour ya agarró la pelota y esto se está poniendo cada vez más difícil. Mientras más sube reloj, más miedo me da para México. Numbers advantage still in the hands of SWAT Alpha. Next step in the process to put that oddball in their hands as they earn another three down. Numbers advantage. And this will be an over extension here from Yaxit if he is to push through wisely. Decides instead to earn spawns on the seaside. He's going to wait for the cavalry to arrive, and it looks like they get the long haul spawn as well. So Darkest Tower set up in a position to where they can dis uh, dismember gold, push in through the needle side, also the top of A, and potentially pinch the oddball carrier as the push is on. Gory Loco goes down as the green light means go. Two go down for SWAT Alpha. But Darkest Hour lose two in the mix as well. SWAT Alpha have done an incredible job. It looked like they were left for dead. Down 0-2 in the series, down by nearly a minute in this one as well, but they fought right back. They, excuse me, clawed right back. 
68 to a rolling 55. Se están recuperando, están re retomando el momentum. Se le va a pasar junto. Y esto puede ser un error crítico para la escuadra de SWAT Alpha. No lo vio. Shock Rifle en manos de Ember. Puede hacer de la suya. Le dispara por ahí un aliado. Le tiran la pelota. Dos caídos para la escuadra. Que se hagan tres. Darkest Towers ahora en problemas. Ember es el único que queda. Cory Loco intentando hacer de las suyas. Tiene el camuflaje activo y puede. Y es aquí donde los sueños empiezan. What a time to earn a team wipe is SWAT Alpha are going to earn more ball time and the ever important camo here, but a nice reset puts that oddball in a spot where they will once again have to fight for map control. Shock rifle in the hands of Strikey. Ball not touched for at least 30 seconds. That's going to send it back to the respawn screen as Strikey sends members of Darkest Hour back to the respawn screen with the use of the shock. As he continues on with his life into the back of A, has team, uh, teammate support just below him as they look to push in through to gold. Oddball still at the reset and first. It, all this means time is dwindling off the clock, 68 to 63, but there's only 40 seconds left. 35 segundos en el reloj restantes. Estamos hablando de las últimas oportunidades de SWAT Alpha de ponerse en el marcador. Va 2 a 0 abajo, 68 a 63. Solamente están bajando el tiempo. Y creo saber, creo tener una idea muy general de lo que están planeando. Si logran obtener la escuadra mexicana, el control de la pelota, podríamos estar viendo que están tratando de tener el control. Pero, uy, excelente, esta es la entrada que tenía. 10 segundos es lo que necesita para entrar. Y van rápidamente, no consigue, agarra la pelota. Oh. Y es el control, este es el colapso que está buscando. Este oh. es el colapso, pero lo van a agarrar. Esto se acabó, la primera ronda no le va a pertenecer a nadie. Oh. 69, 69. Larceny, SWAT Alpha steal it at the end. Three seconds left on the clock as the oddball goes down. Three go down for Darkest Hour. Common, the last chance for Darkest Hour as he gets the sleep, but the numbers advantage was too strong. It's a mosh pit at the bottom of A as SWAT Alpha rock out to a 1-0 lead here in game three. And for Zilla, this is exactly why we called this the reverse sweet trampoline. If SWAT, F, if SWAT X Alpha can find their mojo here in game three, we got ourselves a series. Es lo que necesitaban, es lo que necesitaba el equipo mexicano. El moral acaba de subir. Están ahora sí que en su tope más alto. De aquí se puede agarrar SWAT Alpha para seguir adelante, para empezar a arrasar. Y con este opening pick, con este opening que tenemos, Ahora con la pelota Es simplemente cuestión de tiempo Antes de que podamos Incluso considerar Un reverse sweep Darkest hour Steal game one It's only fitting SWAT Alpha Maybe steal game three They've stolen round one for now And in round two They're riding the momentum You can really feel the momentum First In this series We saw Darkest hour Again steal game one They rode that into a Near spectacular In game two And now SWAT Alpha here In round two Run away with a 20 second head start can they finish here, though? Can they bring this series back to a one-game uh, one game lead for Dark Tower? Lo tienen que lograr, excelente. Gori Loco, teniendo el control de la pelota. Cuidado que le están llegando de dos ángulos al mismo tiempo. Se cubre muy bien. ¡No! Muy fea ahí. El pommel no lo consigue. Y ahora cambiamos a la cámara de Zepstar. Si bien Darkest Tower tiene el control de la pelota ahora mismo, es cuestión de tiempo antes de que logre la escuadra mexicana encontrar una abertura en la defensa. Uh. ¡Qué buen tiro de Common! That's an uncommon shot there from the man himself, Common, <laughs> as he had pressure in his face. And that's a difficult shot, especially up close pressure. As he looks to push on through, has a potential to not only earn some more shock rifle kills, but also rotate this oddball to the strong side of C. As he does, in fact, rotate the oddball, drops it back for a teammate and looks to line up the camo. Instead, he's going to drop. Ooh. And he does, in fact, burn the camo. So it's not all for naught, but he does lose the shock at that. So a potential here, an opportunity for SWAT Alpha to regain some uh, control of the map as that oddball gets reset. Una kill importantísima para la escuadra de SWAT Alpha porque no solo se deshicieron del camo, también del shock rifle. Entonces fue un combo 2 por 1 que es lo que están aprovechando y ahora solo es cuestión de tiempo antes de que logren descifrar el siguiente movimiento de la escuadra americana Darkest Tower que ha estado muy por encima de ellos pero simplemente el que ríe al último ríe mejor. 12 to 18, SWAT with the oddball back in their hands. It's Sepstar with it. 
now on the A side of the map. And I actually feel like the Ace uh, hold suited SWAT Alpha a little bit better than even the C side. As we saw them utilize the A control to take round one and now take a 20 second lead. Gory Loco with the sticky grenades looking to potentially thwart any push through the Mangler side from Darkest Hour. All four members alive on each side as the fight is on. Gory Loco with that battle rifle looks to defend the Mahler door. It looks like for now, SWAT Alpha, sensing the pressure, are going to reset that oddball wisely. And for Zilla, this is what you afford yourself the opportunity of to make the other team chase. You can play that oddball when you're up by 20, feeling like you uh, got a little bit of comeback in you. Totalmente de acuerdo. Simplemente la escuadra de Darkest Tower ahora está viéndose muy en problemas. No está comprendiendo el, el approach, el ataque, todo lo que le está aventando la escuadra de SWAT Alpha y eso es lo que le está haciendo que le cueste bastante poder incluso puntuar en estos momentos. Embor va a tener el control de la pelota, pero se nos va a acercar Common a asistirle. Va a intentar sorprenderlo a él, pero el trade se va a hacer notar. Ahora nos vamos con Haynes, que tiene la Bandit Evo. Qué bonita arma, qué bonita pistola, pero yo le sigo diciendo eh, la DMR. Uy, qué buen tiro se llevó ahí sobre el único inigualable Zepstars. Le Ward también va a caer, lo van a agarrar y hasta el momento 22 a 35 sigue siendo mapa para su Alpha. Jackson in a 1v1 at the bottom of the elevator but he goes down I believe to Gory Loco nice play there it looks like Swan Alpha should retain control of the oddball they do and it looks like for now Common has a chance to earn that shock rifle at a glance it looked like it's up in the next 30 seconds so no need to wait at the bat ledge He's gonna instead push on through, focus on the objective. He's gotta worry about that, these grenades. Great shot, a little peak shot through the through the crack, finds the sleigh. But more members go down for Darkest Hour. SWAT Alpha are doing a great job to mitigate the damage. They're trading out, three in fact, dead on each side, and they win the trade out. It's a net positive outcome here for SWAT Alpha. Throughout all the chaos, throughout all the trades, they have the oddball, and now rotating it from A to gold. I love the rotations that we've seen here from SWAT Alpha. I've also loved the well-timed resets as well. It's why they're in the lead. Mexico despertó, cabrones, y se está haciendo notar. Están haciendo que se complique mucho las cosas para la escuadra de Darkest Hour. Cada kill está siendo cuidadosamente, pues, simplemente están haciendo un gran trabajo con el departamento de las kills. Se agacha muy bien ahí, es buen combo para evitar ese tiro con la, plaza, con la pistola de plasma cargada. Y si esto sigue así, un minuto restante, Darkest Hour abajo por 38 puntos, 48 puntos, perdón. No, 58, no sé contar. SWAT Alpha might pull through. And just like round one, you blink and there's less than a minute left. 42 seconds to be exact. It's a 40 second or so lead. SWAT Alpha with a minute on the board is 60 seconds going to be enough. As we wonder, are they going to play for the slays and potential chance to milk out that regulation clock? It looks like that's the case, but instead they get slayed out. Darkest Hour with a well-timed team wipe, earned camo and a potential to come back with that ball time. 30 seconds left. Tienen que tener cuidado. Es ahora donde tienen que detener todo. Excelente. Se queda el equipo de Darkest Tower sin camuflaje activo. 1v1 entre Haynes y alguien de SWAT Alpha. No va a ganarlo. Va a retroceder. Se le está acercando. Ambos esperan sus escudos. Y ahora esto se vuelve cada vez más complicado. La escuadra de Darkest Tower todavía tiene en control la pelota. Y aquí la escuadra mexicana tiene que apurar. Si quiere cerrar este tercer juego, tiene que ganar este combate. Los siguientes 15 segundos son cruciales. Van a agarrar a Le War y no va a ser suficiente. 48 a 60, 15 segundos restantes, no hay nadie cerca, el equipo de SWAT Alpha tiene dos caídos, Dark Sour solo tiene uno, se están llevando la pelota, la están rotando y esto se puede complicar. 10 seconds left, Darkest Hour are down less than 10 as they need one stretch run, stretch sprint to potentially tie up this game three, if not SWAT Alpha are going to start the road to a reverse sweep rotation going through to see, are they going to make it? Yes! Unbelievable! With one HP and a dream! That member of the Darkest Hour crew, Comet, strong sides his way to victory. Two one second wins in a row for Zilla. This one's going to a round three. Oh, este va, este, este va a pesar muchísimo en el mental de los chicos de ambos equipos. Darkest Hour ahora con la, básicamente con la. Esto, esto, this, this could be literally up for anyone for grabs, but it needs to be for, for SWAT Alpha if they want to have a chance, even a slight chance, opportunity to be able to play in pool play tomorrow. Next couple, next, this round, crucial.
This is it. It all comes down to this do or die scenario here for SWAT Alpha as Darkest Hour do their birth best impersonation of SWAT Alpha in round one and steal it. How unbelievable is that for Zilla? Two, two rounds back to back. I think both were 61 to 60. When were you when will you ever see that? The script is clearly in. And we're following it to a T as Haynes pushes on through the gold Dorito side of the map. He goes down. Numbers advantage continues on here for SWAT Alpha. And they're going to utilize that to grab control of the oddball and take it to gold. La ofensiva que SWAT Alpha puede demostrar en estos momentos es crucial. Necesitan hasta el último momento posible de poder llevarse esta victoria. Si no, si es que lo que acaba de pasar, si es que este eh, robo... A plena luz del día que acaba de hacer Darkest Tower hace que pierdan la moral, SWAT Alpha podría estar viendo su último instante en este mayor de la HCS a manos de nada más y nada menos que de Darkest Tower. Un oponente digno que está dando una lucha digna, pero SWAT Alpha todavía tiene mucho de qué hablar. SWAT Alpha, the first to get their hands on the oddball in round three, but it's Darkest Tower with the first stretch of time. 17 to 4 now. As the battle ensues on the glass and long haul side of the map, Oddball sitting precariously at the bottom of gold. Great grenade toss there from Gory Loco. Surprised to not see a double kill. It gets the double assist. Nonetheless, as SWAT Alpha will take advantage of the numbers and potentially look to tie it here, but there's more trouble. There's more players for Dark Star pushing through, and the trade out actually probably going to benefit SWAT Alpha as they do have control of gold and a nice setup. Oh, ok. De la nada le dan una kill de agrapa a Haynes, pero lo tomamos, supongo. Eh, creo que fue un ave maría, no sé, creo que se suicidó alguien de SWAT Alpha. Pero aún así, excelente el pase de parte de Haynes. Camuflaje activo en mano puede ser muy contraproducente para la escuadra mexicana. Muy hey. lento el approach hasta el momento. Haynes with the literal heads up toss. Sets his reticle to the ceiling and tosses that oddball up to his teammate to earn a little bit more ball time. Darkest Hour in the lead, 29 to rolling 20 for SWAT Alpha, but they flip control of the map quickly. And now with Sepstars seem to be back in control and not only of this map, but in the lead as well. SWAT Alpha for now have stolen the lead, 30 rolling to 29. Corey Loco con el Shock Rifle listo para hacer lo que mejor se le da. Se está desesperando, excelente el tiro, pero se lo van a llevar. Esto se vuelve una situación muy riesgosa. Strike entrando con todo, Strike entrando con todo lo que puede, consiguiendo la doble, pensando que había un tercero, pero logra agarrar la pelota. Cambiamos rápidamente el trade nuevamente. Dos caídos para la escuadra de Darkest Hour, uno para la escuadra de SWAT Alpha. Ahora tienen que posicionarse alrededor del mapa y utilizar todo lo que puedan. Necesitan esta victoria. Esta victoria es clave para seguir dentro de este mayor aquí en Estados Unidos. Strike, he having himself a hell of a game. He's got 38 slays and a little bit more ball, a little bit more ball time than that. 49 seconds OBJ has him and SWAT Alpha in a potential reverse sweep situation. They got to secure this game three first and this one does in fact end up going the distance well beyond that 15 minutes or so that we predicted when this one started and it feels like SWAT Alpha are starting to find their form but not before Darkest Hour find the oddball. Five perfect shots from Gory Loco but he gets cleaned up shortly after. It's a brouhaha at the needles as more players go down on each side. It's a trade out 2v2. Classic Halo being played now as Jackson looks to protect the rotation to, from Envor. As we're going to see long haul spawns for SWAT Alpha, we're going to see Darkest Hour set up a day. Va a caer Jackson, come on, ahora tratando de recibir a alguien por la zona de esas escaleras, tiene que moverse, camuflaje activo en el mapa, puede ser para Darkest Tower, kills, uh, cuatro caídos para la escuadra de SWAT Alpha, esto se puede acabar, toman la delantera, toman y están a medio camino de la victoria, están a nada, 40 segundos es lo que separa Darkest Tower de ganarle ese espacio a Pulpe por el lado del lower bracket a SWAT Alpha, if SWAT Alpha has to act, the time is now! But instead, it's common on the bat ledge, looking like Batman camoed up with the shock rifle fully loaded as well. And if what he's done previously is any indication of what's about to happen, this could spell trouble for MX as Common continues on with his light, but not for long. That's a huge takedown. Three go down for Darkest Tower. SWAT have the oddball. They've got the grapple to work with. They should have the shock as well. And if they can get through to gold, they do. They're going to have a chance. Two to go.
Se le cayó la pelota y ahora se le está yendo por las escaleras. Se la van a robar, Haynes. Está haciendo la cochinada. Cuidado, ¿eh? Quiere quitarle la pelota. No lo va a lograr. Lo van a agarrar. Cuidado. Tiene que acercarse. Y se lo van a echar rápidamente. Whiplash. Y Common va a agarrar la pelota. 15 segundos. Es lo que necesitan. Cuidado con esos tiros. Le va a pegar a la cala canchida, pero no va a ser suficiente. Van a caer. Darkest Hour sigue teniendo la ventaja. Sigue teniendo el control de la pelota. Makowski, this might be it. Five out of the eight players are in the 30s. You got a couple looking for 40 plus, as we've seen plenty of slays. As this oddball match has gone down to the wire, but just like that, Darkest Hour build what feels like a comfortable lead, just about doubling up on SWAT Alpha. As this is it, one final push for Mexico. As Darkest Hour looks to secure the three game sweep, 95 seconds and rolling, three go down, this could do it. As it looks like Darkest Hour, led by their coach and former pro talent, also their owner, are gonna do it with the 3-0 sweep. Congratulations to Darkest Hour. They've qualified for pools. Amazing performance overall for both of these teams. Uh, my heart wanted Mexico to win, but it's just, sometimes it's just not possible, right? It's, we wanted to double it and give it to the next person. Qualification <laughs> for pools, unfortunately, <laughs> it didn't happen, but still, I think history has been made in their own way in the SWAT Alpha uh, roster by just being this close, that close for pool qualification. They had really close games that first game for the books. No, absolutely. You can and the steals from, from Oddball also for the books. Absolutely. You, you could easily make the argument that this series should be 2-1 SWAT X Alpha and we should be heading to a live fire on King of the Hill. But that's... Imagination, that's not reality. Instead, it's Darkest Hour taking it 3-0, and they got a lot of veterans on their squad for Zilla. I don't think SWAT X Alpha should be, uh, they'll be disappointed that they don't make it out of open, but they shouldn't be uh, embarrassed by this loss. They fought hard, and again, could very well make a case for how this could be 2-1, but instead, the veteran leadership from the likes of Common, Haynes, is too much as Darkest Hour take it and will qualify for pools. Now the only question is, which pool do they fall in?